Hello everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled Essentials of SAP PLM 701 Engineering Bomb and Product Structure Synchronization or PSS. This webinar will introduce new engineering BOM and PSS capabilities found in the SAP PLM 701 release. In addition, we will discuss the value of developing a prototype using customer data to validate the use of these new capabilities and help justify an SAP PLM 701 implementation project. We are thankful to SAP Solution Management and SAP Centers of Excellence for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President of LeverX. I will be our webinar moderator today. Before I turn the time over to our presenters, let me introduce you to LeverX. LeverX is an SAP Services Partner, an SAP Business Object Solution Partner, Associate Member of the PLM Alliance, and a Google Enterprise Partner. LeverX assists companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. So. Maybe first, just to um, yeah, give you um, um, some background why we decided to think like we, we do currently. And I think there are certain global trends which, are, uh, which have a major impact on product development. And I think number one is time to profit. Everyone wants to shorten the time un until he gets profit of a new product. And, um, uh, some other trends are also that um, we have a consumer-driven sustainable innovation, um, which means the, that customer rather pr want to have their own product, their own variants, and so on. Uh, they they grab a product from a standard, but then they need a slightly adjustment for their special needs, and it for sure needs also to be uh, sustainable. So green products are also very common and, and, and uh, uh, currently. The next thing is for sure, uh, I think that has never changed. It's a uh, global price, so there is a global competition and uh, there are places where products may be um, uh, cheaper or which can produce uh, for cheaper price and also the, the time pressure. And then there is also upcoming more and more um, compliance and regulation issues so um, that there are even more obligations when you pro produce a product, what you have to take care about the uh, um, ingredients and, and, and all the, um, the components of a product which have to fulfill certain criteria. I think this all, these trends, these um, issues and challenges lead um, and have also a major impact on, on product data management, so which is uh, something very core to the product development. So it leads to more variants and alternatives, uh, which raises also the product complexity. So. If you have to develop a product for only one market, it's quite easy. But if you want to sell it in, in, in 30 other markets, you maybe have to fulfill compliance and other things. So, so the complexity and the variance and the alternatives uh, really raises very fast. Thanks, Alan. So my name is Christian Butzlaff. I'm the director of Value Prototyping Americas. And I would like to uh, show you how you can use SAP Value Prototyping to actually um, try out um, the new functionality in PLM or even even other functionality um, and what kind of uh, um, group we are and what kind of services we provide. So basically, uh, we are a collaboration uh, platform where we bring in our customers. Um, as well as uh, consultants, SAP consultants, whether they are from SAP or in, if they are special knowledge uh, on, with partners we work with, like with LeverX, we also bring in partners. Um, development is, if needed, IBO knowledge. So we bring all this knowledge together into the uh, value prototyping platform. 
Um, we also have the right hardware in place uh, to uh, build now the prototypes um, for a customer. We have done that more than 2,000 times over the last nine years. We are a global organization. We cover all industries and we have multiple hubs around the world, one of them being here in Palo Alto. So how does an engagement with value prototyping look like? You would typically um, first talk to your account, so whether it's the uh, client partner or the account executive um, who will then contact us, or you can also directly contact us. Um, the uh, contact information will be um, shown later on the, in this presentation. Um, and then we will make sure that uh, the account is involved in this discussion. So once we have set that up, we will start with a workshop. We call it Envision Workshop, typically a two, two to four days engagement, depending on the size, where we bring in the right expertise, um, again, from uh, consulting, from industries if needed, and um, also from the, from the customer. There will be um, multiple groups involved, uh, whether it's IT, um, business uh, users as well. So we bring in all them into this workshop, and we want to look into the business problem and into the business process, um, starting from the top all the way down to the data element um, level if needed. We will talk about the system landscape. We will talk about the processes uh, involved. We will talk about um, events along these processes. And we will come up at the end of this workshop, we will come up with a mapping um, of, of your processes to the uh, two uh, solutions. Right. So this part of the presentation, we just want to give you a brief overview of a case study of a SAP PLM implementation that was done jointly between LeverX and SAP Centers of Excellence. So to give you an example of what Christian was explaining. So this, uh, this customer was a large global corporation with multi-product lines, multiple product lines and sales of greater than 30 billion US dollars. Their, their goal was to quickly implement an SAP PLM implementation into one of their divisions with the hope of then expanding that implementation to other divisions after go live. Uh, they had a number of issues though. They had limited internal resources uh, they, that had any PLM background. Uh, so they, it was very difficult for them to judge whether the implementation effort, how much it would be, how quickly it would go, and so forth. So they really wanted to make sure that the SAP PLM functionality would be able to fit their business requirements before they move ahead with the project. This is a basic requirement that, that pretty much any organization has. A solution was required quickly, the business was growing, and they needed to implement a data management solution to meet their demands in a very short time period. 